showing you how to make an apron. Come on, let's get started. So before we get started, I'm going to show you the simple things that you need. You'll need a pattern. And here, this pattern I just made out of newspaper from one of my grandma's old aprons. I just laid it down and traced it. You can get a pattern from Walmart, or you can. there's free pin printables online that you can do and easy to make it. But to me, it's easier if you have a pattern. You'll need some fabric. I chose the floral pa fabric because I think it's just... It looks really pretty on different things, especially if you're going to use this for a gift or just for yourself. I really liked the flowers. And you'll need a pair of scissors for cutting and straight pins. And most importantly, you'll need a sewing machine. I used a marker. You can use a fabric marker to try to mark stuff. And ribbon I'm going to use for my string. My string at the end. And you'll need one of these things to measure to get the measurements right. Okay, let's get started. As I'm cutting, I try to leave at least one to two inches from the pattern so I can fold it under it and keep it from raveling out when I sew it. Since now I cut my main thing for my apron out, now it's time to cut the pocket. It's just going to be one pocket, but we're going to split it into two. It needs to be a 13 by 7 inch pocket. So we're going to measure it out so it would be precise. Pause it, please. Now we're going to cut it out. Okay. Cutting my strings, I measure this out. And all the way, I'm going to cut it all the way down here. And that is 42 inches. So we're just going to cut it straight out right here. To make two, I'm, after that, I'm going to split it into two to make two strings. And they can be as long as you want them to be. I just like them long so you can wrap them around. It makes like a little belt. It just, it depends what you want to do. Okay, so now I have all of my pieces cut out. I have the main part of the apron. I have my two strings that I'm going to fold and sew. And I have my pocket. But the first thing that we're going to do is... Use straight pins to pin it one or one half to two inches back to fold it. So I'm going to go and pin all, all around it. And I'm going to do it to the pocket. I'm going to do it to the pocket and the strings. See, I have got it all pinned up. I just estimated one to one half inches to, to fold it back so that way I can sew it easy. I did. I was going to do one line first before I fold it over. It's easier to sew it. And I did going to fold down the pocket before I sew it on. So let's get started sewing. You want to try to measure this to try to get it in the middle as much as you can possibly can. I measured it, now I'm just drawing a faint line so I can see. Okay, let's get to sewing. Make sure as you sew this that you try not to remember to not to sew the front part. Put it. And now I'm going to put a stitch right in the middle to make two pockets. So straight down the middle, try to keep it as straight as possible as you can. Now I'm going to stitch right along here, and when I get finished with that, I'm going to fold it and then stitch right along there. And I'm going to do it to both of the strings. Now that I have my straps done, it's time to sew them on. So I'm going to attach them right here behind, 
and I'm probably fixing to back stitch and I'll show you what that is in here in a second. I'm going to sew it on. And now here I'm going to push this button on my machine that's an arrow and this will back stitch it. You push it while holding it and it will push it backwards. And I'm going to do this two to three times to make sure this reinforces this because this is the straps and I'm going to do the same to the other side. And now I'm going forward again. Then I'll go backwards. Now that we got it sewed on, we're going to fold these remaining ends so they don't ravel out. I'm going to fold it twice before I sew it like that. And I'm going to do it on both of them. So it's Now I'm going to cut the access off, and this is what it looks like right here, so that way it won't ravel out. I chose three ribbon, and I'm going to braid them together, but first I'm going to sew it together. Back stitch. Make sure I get it all the way. And this up forward one more time. Because I want this to hold. Back stitch it again. Now I'm just going to do like a regular braid, but a fish twist is okay. It's just for the toe of the neck. I'm going to sew this part out right here. To make sure it stays. Make sure your string's back always. Mm. We're going to do the same thing like we did a while ago. We're going to go forward and back stitch it. Now we need the scissors. Cut off the access. Don't need that. And we're going to get. Okay. We're going to pin it. Before we sew it, so that way we can look to see. For the neck piece, there are a lot of optional choices that you can do. You can use different kinds of ribbon, or you can just use several like I did. Or fabric, point. it's up to you. There it is. And now to sew it. Finished product. See, I made it where I could tie it. I made a belt. And this is what it turns out. Thanks for watching. Happy sewing.